Right, good day, and welcome back to that new Hobby High episode 72. Um, so, it has been a very fucking productive week for me this week. Um, I've gotten uh, two five man units of Terminators done the Hammer and Plasma, and the Chain Fist and uh, Chain Fist and uh, Bloody Melted Gun ones done. Five of each, so they're all completed and nicely done. I got some paint on the Emperor, uh, Major Kills Mini that I did a special on last week. And I um, I got this Damocles Command Rhino just about ready to go. She's just got some ink on her waiting to dry. It's coming along very nicely. Still a lot of bit of weathering, highlights and edging to do. But um, something came up that I didn't realise about. It was uh, that Beyond Odyssey, the freaking gaming club I go to, not gaming club, it's a store, um, they're having another Horus Heresy event in early April, which is about three weeks away. And um, I have decided to crack in and actually punch out a majority new army for that event. So I've given myself three, a little under three weeks to paint out 4,000 point army. And I've decided to go with the Nemesis, uh, Nemesis boys. Uh, not Nemesis, um, Destroyers. Yeah, Destroyers, that's the fucking word I'm looking for. Because, uh, why the fuck not? So the idea is to quickly paint out a 4,000 point Nemesis Destroyer army. And being all black, it's uh, it's fairly easy to pick them all out and make them all look Mickey Mouse. You know, they've got these, uh, I've got a special unit from the Ultramarines, a Nemesis, Nemesis unit, which is the one I'm painting now, which is a 20 man unit, Nemesis Destroyers. And what they do is they fucking shoot bullets that are so painful that uh, when you get hit by them, you literally scream yourself to death. So the rule set says if you t if your unit takes one wound, doesn't say if it's saved or not, it just says one wound from this uh, unit, they have to make a check like they've done a 25, uh, 25 uh, lost 25% of their squad. So with this one unit, I should be able to make quite a few other units flee and break the table. Hopefully, hopefully that's that's the game plan. I got to, but uh, yeah, I just think it's a neat, neat little, neat little twenty man unit to have. So I'm gonna have this twenty man unit of fucking nemesis destroyers. Gonna have the uh, assault destroyers, and I'm gonna have the despoiler destroyers, and I'm gonna pile them in. With me three quad launchers, a uh, a three aquitas with the Morbius bombards, which I'm still fucking waiting from. I really hope they get here in time. And on top of that, I'm going to wait for uh, I got a um, a bike squad coming along, and on that bike squad is going to be my Centurion Siege Master, and he's going to run along and use and uh, from an idea from our, what the uh, our little. Horace Heresy talk group. He's going to run along, and he is just going to throw use the uh, firing protocols rule that comes with the Siege Master on a jet on on a jet bike, and he's going to be throwing um, phosphex, phosphex, two phosphexes a turn, and between the Morbius bombards and the quad rapier quad launchers throwing phosphex, I should be putting down uh, nine. Minimum of six, max... Oh, and I want to get a couple of Viathans too. Let's not forget them. But in, until then, a minimum of six, a maximum of uh, nine Phosphex uh, templates each shoot and turn. That's not including the ones that the, the grenades for the sergeants either, you know? So, yeah, the idea, it's a one-trick pony, but it should be a fun trick pony. Ha-ha. <laughs> fun trick pony. And that's the game plan. Just make a forty thousand dollars squad, a forty four thousand point uh, destroyer chapter, and it's nice because you know I'm painting a different color, which is fucking brilliant. So uh, yeah, so the rest of these things are on not back order, but just delayed. 
until I get these painted. So the uh, the veterans, the Damocles, uh, the imps, that unit of melders, that unit of rocket launchers. They're not on the back burner, back burner, but they're just they've just I've just need to get this unit up and punched out, ready to go, and then I'll shall re return to those uh, after this uh, after this competition. But yeah, I'm having, having a fucking great time. I'm really sort of I don't know how I'm going to go with the you know the paint scheme because I'm keeping it. So, I've got the uh, let me just finish this these dots out here, right. So I'll just show you this. I got, I got this fucking um, color matching chart, and that's what I'm sort of matching out here. So I've got like units here that have got like random blue patches for uh, just because you know I need something to show their ultramarines and not iron ands. Um, and they're gonna. I'm thinking about painting all their weapons like a base metal. Because they're fucking destroyers. Oh, fuck, I just rolled my own fucking brush back into my paint bit. Because they're destroyers, um, they're not really seen as, you know, yeah, you know, they're, they're like the grotty ones. They're fucking dirt. Fuck off, you dirty cunts. Sort of a sort of a unit. The rest of the army don't want to, you know, touch or associate with them because they're, you know, use freaking horrific weapons of war, even in the 30th, Fucking 30,000 in thirty thousand years, so uh, they my thinking is that their weapons won't be painted. Uh, it'll just, they'll just be bare metal because they'll be just like here you go. You're not even worth take these fucking guns. You're not even worth the paint on your weapons, and so you know you're not even worth the effort of freaking making your armor uniform. So take what you can get and just fuck away off, you grotty, dirty, disheveled war crime master. So um, I'm thinking I'll either leave, just paint them, leave them black like an undercoat, or just paint the entire thing silver, and then give it a wash. So it's like it's like dirty, only loved by the person who's handling it, not loved by anybody else. Sort of a vibe. Uh, the unit's going to have four of these. Uh, Four of these rocket launchers. I used the ones from Forge World, the underslung fucking rocket launchers, to make them stand out a little different from these, from the uh, plastic ones that come out with the new kits. And uh, yeah, so they've got suspensor webs and fire rad rad rockets, and you know if they've all got rad grenades. So oh fuck, I think it's going to be an exciting army. I oh, fucking I'm genuinely excited about it, and it's nice not just going in blue it's nice actually painting some variation too i'm fucking having a great time with it so uh yeah uh that's the project for today uh now i'm going along with it really fucking enjoying it gonna try and finish this off in the wee hours of this morning while the silver while i'm getting the silver on these then i'm going to give these a nice little wash they look like the white i spent a bit of money on it and i got the fucking the uh the Bre ultramarine breaches, Praetorian breaches, and all the helmets of the Praetorian breaches. And a long, long time ago, like nearly a year, the ultramarines had like this very limited run on Forge World for the Mark IV fancy chests. And they've all got the fancy chest. I bought two packets. So they've all got the Mark IV fancy chests just to make them a little bit more splashy. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to... Uh, Try and get that done. I'll get the silver on these tonight's white faces, red eyes, silver weapons, a couple of panels picked out in blue. And then I'm going to give them, because they're black, because they're nice black, that's two coats of, uh, of Abaddon and one coat of, uh, of just normal black from freaking uh, bloody Vallejo. It's giving them a nice sheen because I've got to put a gloss underneath them first. I'm going to give them all a wash with this, which is if you're painting a plastic model like in black, like a like a Lancaster, which were famously black for all their night missions in World War Two. When you're done with the black and you paint it all up, you go over the panel lines with a grey, and this grey actually doesn't so much highlight, but what it does is it freaking sits in the recesses very nicely. And it stains the paint. I'm just doing a little demonstration 
on this fella's backpack. I'll come back and do him properly later. It stains the, the actual paint, especially if you've done more than one coat, slightly lighter. So you can come back after you've tidied him up. God, this is doing it quick and this is doing it quick and nasty, but you'll get the idea. So once the once the paint is stained, if you left it on there for like another 10 minutes, it would lighten the black. And then you can come around with actual black. And you can actually pick out the low lights, leaving the grey highlights. And it looks really, really good. You just got to use a little bit of white spirits. Not too much, just enough to wet it. It takes a bit of time, but the results will be spectacular. And they'll stand out and proud. Once like the nacelles on the backpack are fucking silver and the eyes are red. And then I'll then I'll dusty them up. Or you, because they're black, the dirts will show up very, very easily. So I might actually use some powder on the shins with these ones. And uh, yeah, I honestly think I'm going to bash through these in a record amount of time. Um, due to uh, me not understanding how YouTube works, this video has come out very late. I did have it programmed to come out on Wednesday. But I apparently am a full retard and cannot press enter and then confirm. So that's why this video is late and I've just decided to fucking flat out re-record it. But um, we'll have um, another video out on Monday. And from what you see here, and I'll show you what I can get done in three days. Hopefully, you will be impressed. But nonetheless, that's what I've got planned. Love the lot of you. Just give the missus a kiss. I'm enjoying this. They're fucking going well. I'm excited. I'm genuinely excited. Can I get uh, 4,000 points worth of models painted? Well, to be honest, there's only got maybe five squads. Can I get five squads painted in three weeks? I don't know, but I'm going to fucking enjoy trying. Fuck yeah. Do, do. Anyway, give your missus a kiss and I'll uh, enjoy your painting, enjoy your hobby, and I'll see you later. Cheerio.